Well, we are here in a secret location in London with Professor Green. Hello, mate. You all right? Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> that's my answer and I'm sticking to it. You're smiling, so that's a good start. I know. I know. <laughs> On the inside, I'm dying, but... I know. Well, we haven't, we haven't got much time, so we're going to get straight in there. All right, let's do it. So... The new album, Growing Up in Public, yep. is out on the 22nd of September. Yeah. I'm taking it you're looking forward to it. I can't wait, man. It feels really, really good. The, the response thus far to the songs that people have heard have been wicked. Um, and and I hope when they hear the album, they're just as as happy. And I'm not disappearing anytime soon. There's loads of stuff. I just did a track with... Um, I haven't told anyone this. Not, Ooh. not publicly. Anyway, I've just done a track with um, Fecky and Stormzy called Hugs and Kisses. Um, That'd be cool. Yeah, and then after that, we've got another B-side for the next single. And I know people don't really do B-sides because there's almost no such thing anymore. Because no, but it's just people need to keep it's them. It's just an iTunes package. But yeah. um, I'm just back in the mood to rap. I, I did this verse for Jay Spades that I'm I'm really really happy with, and I'm doing my F64 and my fire in the booth, and I just I feel like rapping my ass off again, man. It's been a little while. That's good to hear, though. That's the passion. I like yeah. that. So I'm assuming back that's to that. being a cheapy little cheeky little. Sh- yeah, sugar, cheeky yep. little sugar, cheeky little sugar. Yep. Yeah, that's me. That's good. <laughs> right. What I always like to do is test people's knowledge of themselves via oh, their yeah. online. I don't know package. anything about anything, especially <laughs> myself. Here, <laughs> there. Here we go. Go on. Right. What is your most viewed video on YouTube? I read all about it. Oh, that was easy. Bonus point. How many views? Twenty-seven million. Oh. Is it? Yeah, that was like spot on. It's like 27. The last and time like... I saw it, it was 25. So that was just oh. like, yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. Right. I how... don't like watching it. I've got crow's feet now. I look so much younger in that video. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with getting older. Well, you know, growing up. Oh, uh, yeah, well, yeah. I did there. Supposedly. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> Take me home. Taxi. Right. How many Twitter followers do you have? Um, I, two I, I... point. I don't know, two million something. <laughs> That's close enough. It's two point zero three. All right. So we'll let you off that little bit. All right. We'll the thirty thousand. Yeah. You can just give them to me. Donate them to me. That's fine. There's a couple. <laughs> right. Oh, right. also, is it true that apparently Sid Wilson produced part of the album? No, 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 no. Oh. We were talking, though, man. We bumped into each other in Australia. Um, we were there was two tours going on at the same time. They weren't on the on the same tour as me. And Sid was cool, man. Yeah. Um, he sent me something over. We didn't ever end up finishing anything, but I'd, I'd love to work with him in the future. Yeah, because he's DJ Scarscream, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's all the alias. His, his production's cool, man. Um, I like working with people that people don't necessarily expect me to work with. I met um, James from Uncle last oh, night. Yeah. Um, I played it down. Uh, he was, he was you know, we were just chatting. Obviously, I knew who he was. I played it real down. <laughs> um, I was gassed. But um, I, I really just held it down. And he was like, oh, have you heard of my band? And after I told him the stuff I'd liked, when I, when I started speaking about trip-hop and stuff, and um, and I was like, yeah, yeah, of course I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah of course. But, um, yeah, yeah, like, cool. I said, but like I said, I managed to hold it down. I kept it cool on it. But um, we're going to get in the studio, which could be interesting. That would be sweet. Yeah. Right. Celebrity Big Brother starting Monday. So my question is to you, not that you're going in it, because... I'm asking, have I you think, ever been I asked? I, I think I could have got quite a lot of money to do that. <laughs> have you ever been asked to do something someone, like that? Someone I know, know, someone who works on it, and mentioned to me that there was a very, 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 very large sum of money there if I ever wanted to do it. Um, and I was just like, what number can I put on my integrity? <laughs> no, no, it's, no, dead. it's not enough. <laughs> not, well, I... I have got a mortgage to pay for, so let's see how this <laughs> let's see how this album does. Isn't it? Never say never, but um, right now, yeah, integrity is worth a little bit too much to me. So I'm kind of going with the celebrity line here, and I embrace you know, that rubbish now. Uh, I, know, I well, used to hate it. It took me a little while because I was successful before all them column inches in gossip magazines, in hairdressers all over yeah. the country, um, and on a Daily Mail. Like, um, so yeah, so what I'm going with is Go I've on. come up with a couple of ideas for celebrity endorsements. Really? I've even come up with a marketing package for one. So the first one is I reckon you could do a a new version of Cluedo because you're genius. No, is your... but that was Professor Plum. Yeah, no, you're the, you're the modern vein. Make this blooming joke. This, <laughs> you know what? This was a really good. This was a really good interview up until there. Uh, but the, this is the last one. This is the, on. this is the one I've created. Come on, a little piece this of. is this one you. I'm going to give you the piece, the is post the that I've created. All right, we can... right, and uh, let you let you see your reaction. Professor Green's pro green grow. What? Well, People, I, I quite often get asked why my name's Professor Green. 
and it's always in really awkward circumstances. Oh no, see, I'm just going with you. Could you could go Tied with the rubbish? Roses. roses, drooping daisies will worry no more. Pro green grow will have your garden back to life in no time. But my point was, I always my get out is always. Oh, you know, I was just very green fingered. I was a uh, very keen horticulturalist. See, that's the vibe I was going years. for. Yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah. So you you never consider going into the fertilising market then? I've got a whole I've got a whole marketing campaign. I only want 40% of the business as well. So well only 40? Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving I'll, you 60. Well, listen, I'll give you 60, mate. You, oh, have, you have the 60. Let's do it. Go on. I don't want anything from it. Let's just see what happens. You have 100. You have, I'll tell you what. You do it. Do it. You, you, you have 100% of it until it works, and then I'll, I'll sue you. Good. All right. That, that, that's fine. <laughs> That, I thought you. that was a good, you know, good little endorsement. It's a good idea, well, you know. Like a proper like PowerPoint presentation, yeah. Like, yeah, that took me that took me hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the final question. So the album's coming out. We've been we've been playing the single. Um, thank you. Not your man a lot. Yeah, that's awesome. Wicked. Thank you. And also, you're playing in Bournemouth in December. I am. Yeah. So you're looking forward to that. I can't wait, man. I like Bournemouth. I, I I'm not sure if I've done a live gig there before. I've done a, quite a few PA's there. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure if I've ever done a live gig. I'm looking forward to it, man. Just being back on the road and feeling employed again is is, <laughs> is a great prospect. All right, well, hopefully we'll catch you down in Bournemouth as well because we're only based in Southampton, so oh, it's right, it's close it. enough for us. Well, come down, have a Nando's yeah. with me. We always do the same thing. We yes, go, we go sound check. We go Nando's. Is there a Nando's in Bournemouth? I don't care if there isn't. Open a Nando's now, so I could. Oh, there is. There is a Nando's. We in have Bournemouth. a thumbs up because there are some places where we go and we're like, oh, we've actually got to travel. This is. <laughs> And it's like you you know what you're getting, didn't you? Like it's always weird when you go places like Lemming and Spa and you're like, Where do we eat? Like, what do we do here? And a bad meal is a bad day. It's not I like my food. Chicken especially then. Does it just everyone love chicken? Do you know what? It's it's good because you can be well behaved if you're watching what you eat, which I haven't been doing. I, I, I got into training and stuff and got really in shape and then just was like, I can't be doing this anymore. I'm really in I shape. I love alcohol and party and, and I, I can't do both. They just don't complement each other, do they? Oh, well, I'm, I'm clearly in the training program right now. Eh? Yeah, no, me too. I'm 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 training for eating competitions. It's good. <laughs> but if you're on the on the other hand, if you are actually being healthy, you know, you can just kind of have half chicken and rat too. You can be well healthy, <laughs> or you can even get a butterfly chicken and not eat the skin and be like well healthy. And then just add the chips on, which I don't do. I just get half chicken, extra hot <laughs> chips, coleslaw, and corn, and and, and commit carbicide. Well, I think this sounds like a date. Um, well, <laughs> it would be if I wasn't married, because you are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you in Bournemouth, and best of luck with the album. Thank you very much. Really looking forward to hearing Stay some more material. Thank you. Cheers.